Okay, kids, we're ready to roll with our next video. It's um, on parallel circuits. We've taken the same components. Again, I did this last week on Jamboard, but I only took it so far. Now we need to go deeper. Here we go. So we need to now know, um, first thing is when we have a parallel circuit. Oh, some of you are going, this is kind of weird. What are you doing up here? I wanted to show you that parallel doesn't literally mean parallel. I do these two literally parallel each other, but that doesn't, that's not what parallel means. Parallel means different lines. And so we have a line here, a line here. I have three lines. Three lines makes a pride, a pride of lines. <laughs> Get it? Pride of lines, lions, lions. Don't need you. Got this. So what I, what I wanted to show you though, that there's a separate line out here, and I didn't make it parallel. I did <coughs> showing you that if you have a separate line, you have this is in parallel with this, this is in parallel with this, this is in parallel. They're all in parallel with each other, even though literally I didn't draw this one parallel. I made it off to the side and made it funky looking to show you that parallel doesn't necessarily have to be drawn parallel. It means a different line. Okay, so here we have our same components. We put them in a different you know, different setup. So we have our two ohm resistor, two ohm resistor, two ohm light bulb, and our six volt battery source. All right, again, here we go. Figure out a couple of things. A couple of these are review, but then we got some new stuff. So stick here, some important stuff. Listen up, kids. First thing, what's the total amount of resistance? Remember, always do RT first. Always get that. You can't do anything without the total amount of resistance. Okay, now we said parallel, remember? In reciprocal, add them in reciprocal. So what you're really doing is you're adding one over RT is one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over D2. Ah, there's a joke against Star Wars. So good, so good, so good. And then one over one half again. One half, one half, one half, half. I like fractions. Fractions were fun. Fourth grade math was actually fun back then, right? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if I have one half, one half, one half, I get three halves. So one over RT equals three halves. But I don't want one over RT, I want RT. So we're gonna to have to flip this, so flip your answer. Whenever you get an answer in parallel, flip it. So we flip this, we get two thirds, and remember that was point evil, point six 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 point evil. Yes, so point evil. There we go, point six six six, so point six six seven. Okay, don't leave it as a fraction. People will laugh at you behind the water cooler. Is that's not wrong? It's like saying H two O one. H two O one is water, but it's nobody does that. It's not wrong, but it's, you know people will go H two O one. They'll they'll laugh at you if you leave it in fractions. Don't want people laughing at you, so don't do that. Okay, so here we go. Next, I had coffee. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm pumped. All right. So now next, so we have our T. We've got the total resistance. Point evil. Next thing you're always going to want to do is get the total current. That is the total current. So that's I T. IT is equal to, well, using Ohm's law, again, Ohm's law, Ohm suggestion, I is V over R. So take the total voltage divided by the total resistance, which we just calculated, point evil, 0.666. And that comes out to be nine, 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 nine. I do believe that's nine. And so we get nine amps. And we made that point the other day that once you put these things in parallel, man, the electricity rate, the flow rate, this is what that is, it's flow rate, is nine times faster. That's like whoa, amount of electricity is moving down the highway really fast. Well, why is that? Because before, when we were set up in series, we had, it's like being out in Chester, you know, this one road and there's, you know, grandma's on that one road. She dictates the flow of traffic. Everybody's lined up. When resistors are lined up, it slows things down. When we have the ability to zoom, zoom, take a different highway, take a different lane, that speeds up the flow of traffic, right? Mm -hmm. Analogy, great. Oh, now, so that means that we have one, two, three lanes, and so it speeds up our flow. And this can actually be a bad thing at times. We'll, we'll go through that later. Let's just continue with this now. Um, so what I want to do here is the same thing that I did in the last video and figure out how much voltage, um, I think I used the light bulb. Yeah, the light bulb. How much voltage does the light bulb use and how much uh, current's going through the light bulb? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, now here's the thing. Parallel things get a little funky. I'm going to write this down, and doggone it, you'd better remember it or you're going to be in big trouble, mister. Okay, Michelle, Full House, 1998. Watch, it's good stuff. Okay. Star. Let's put two stars down. No three, no four. Four stars. This is important. you got to know this. Lines in parallel. Okay, lines in parallel. Each get... 
the same total voltage. Lines that parallel each get the same total voltage. Well, what does that mean? Well, here's a parallel line, parallel line, but they're all getting the same amount of voltage and they get the same amount as this battery is. So that means that everybody gets six volts. You get six, you get six, you get six. Well, isn't that six, 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 and 18? And that's going to be more than this. It's violating the law of conservation of energy or conservation of something being violated here. No, actually, no. You see, what happens is the battery, the battery is like a, a, a person who can't see very far. You know, have good vision. It can't see out there. It's kind of like, you know, it not kind of, kind of knows what's going on, but it can't see. So the battery thinks, you know, thinks that there is not three resistors, but the battery thinks there's just one resistor. And the battery's going to send that, that, that energy out to that one resistor. The battery doesn't know there are three things out here. And these three things have a resistance. We just figured it out. I erased it to make room. But we, we, we figured out the resistance is 0.667. Okay? We figured that out. And that's what the battery thinks. It thinks there's one thing out there with that resistance. So it's going to send that one, that one thing that the battery thinks there is its voltage, which is 6 volts. Now, these three are laughing. They're snickering, going, <laughs> dumb battery, <laughs> dumb battery. All three of them, <laughs> dumb battery. It doesn't know there's three of us out here. It thinks there's only one. Yeah, and that, that's true. So the battery thinks there are three things here. I'm one thing here, and it gives all of these its energy because it thinks there's one thing. So in other words, this line gets six volts because they're all working together. Again, this might be still confusing to some of you. Maybe, oh, wait a minute, it still doesn't make sense. Six and six and six is more than this, it's 18. So, no, they're acting as one unit. Got to remember that. Things in parallel act as one resistor. Maybe I should break that down. Okay, resistors in parallel act as one one. They put their, their, their resistance together and they act as one resistor and they get the voltage to that one resistor. I put it in quote one resistor because there's not one resistor there but it seems to be to the battery that there's one resistor there. So you get six volts, you get six volts, and you get six volts. Okay so you ready? Here's the question. How much voltage, okay V, does the light bulb get? I'll put a circle around it to, to the two ohm light bulb circle around it. How much voltage does it get? Well, the answer, six. It gets six. Now, remember the light bulb in the parallel problem did not get six. It got one third of it. Because in a, in a parallel circuit, the battery has bad eyes, can't see very well. But in a series circuit, that battery is seeing everything. It knows, huh, you got one, you got two, you got three, you split it up. Mm -hmm, split it up. So in a parallel circuit, every resistor on a line, every, every line, I gotta be careful with that because you could have two resistors on this line and then they would have to split the voltage. However, each line gets six volts. And we'll do an example like that. Uh, not in this video, I wanna cut, keep this video short. We're almost approaching 10 minutes here. So six volts is how much each resistor gets because of this very important thing to remember. Okay, next question. You ready? How much current is going through the light bulb. Okay, how much current is going through the two ohm light bulb? So I'll put the two with a circle. Now we all know that voltage is equal to, or the current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. All right, okay, all right, so let's do this. Current is equal to the voltage used on the light bulb, which is six volts divided by the resistance of a two ohm light bulb. So that's two. So the current will come out to be three amps. And if you think about it, that should make sense, okay? These are three different lines. The total amount of current was nine amps. We had calculated that earlier. And each one of these resistors are equal to two and two. So they should split up the amount of ampage. So the amps, so nine of it comes out of this end. And three says, I'll go this way. And three says, I'll go this way. And the remaining three goes this way. Each equal resistor gets equal amounts of current. So you split up the amps in equal parts. Now, if these resistors aren't equal, then we don't split the amp up. We don't take the, the total amount of current and just divide it by, by three. We would, it would be different, and we'll do a problem like that. I'm keeping this simple right now. 
I mean, hopefully this is okay for you. If you're having problem with this, we gotta get this down because we gotta do more complex stuff than this. And so what we have going on is this really important thing. Every line in parallel gets equal voltage as every other line in parallel. With the series circuit, the voltage is split up you know, differently if they're different resistors. But in parallel, equal voltage, different current. Okay, Robert, right, right, I'm gonna write, write this down, write this down. In parallel, equal voltage, split the current. Okay, equal voltage, split up the current. Series, okay, split up the voltage, equal current. It's the opposite, right? Yeah, everybody in parallel has to have equal voltage, but you're gonna split the current up, is what we did. We got three volts, we split it up. And back in the series circuit, what did we do? Everybody got the same amount of current because the current had no choice. Here it is, choice. And we split up the voltage. They're opposites of one another. Okay, let's get into a more complex circuit after this one. Um, so we'll end this video and pick it up soon.